Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are working on the July album of the month and we are using the Basically Amazing Foundations and we are making the D size. So I'm calling this the Slimline uh, album just because it reminds me of the Slimline cards. It's thin and it's tall. I'm gonna make, in this video, we're gonna make an insert for in here. Not that, that was just kind of a placeholder. And there's another placeholder back here. Um, we're not going to make a insert for this one back here just yet, but we're going to make an insert for this pocket here and we may even embellish a little bit. We'll see. The paper collection we are using for this album is Mente and it's the homemade paper collection and I have a whole video playlist specifically for this album and I will link it up here in the cards and down below in the description box. If you want to check it out, it goes step by step, uh, making this album, you know, step by step. And there's also links to the templates and links to an Amazon list and all of that jazz at link down below. Okay, so all we're going to need out of the Basically Amazing Foundations template, we are using the mini check background, but it doesn't matter. I printed page 41 CD which this is one of the inserts for the C size album, but it will fit in this pocket. So I printed page 41 CD onto 80 pound white cardstock, and then I printed my scripty papers. I printed one of the vintage ones and then one of the original ones on one side and one of the vintage ones on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna cut that out. So that's all you need out of the foundation. And then we also, in our prep video, we, I printed off several of the add-on photo mat. So this is 7BD on, this is 28 pound paper, and this is 13D, and this is, uh, what was I gonna use this for? I had a reason for this, now I don't remember what it was for. <laughs> anyway, this uh, is on 28 pound paper as well. I'll have to remember what that is. So I'm gonna cut, actually I'm not gonna cut these out because I have to cut these out special. So I'll have to show you that on camera. But that's all we need out of the template so I'm going to cut also on this page is an insert for the D sized envelope that's in the foundation so I'm just going to set that aside because we're not going to be using that right now and then I'm going to trim this out now when I printed this out it my paper got pulled in quickly and it didn't print all the way down to the bottom but that's okay it didn't print the very bottom line it does not matter I'm not concerned. I'm just going to cut it off right there at the printed line. And then with these two pages, I think what I'll do is I've got them together. Oh no, better not because they're not exactly the same. Well, shoot. Well, they printed again. Things were sucked into the printer slightly different. Okay, well, I'll just do one at a time. So on one side, not the one that has the, not the one that has all of this white here. We're going to leave that there. But on the very bottom here, we're just going to leave about an eighth of an inch of the white showing on the bottom there. See that? And then we're going to go here to this side and we're going to leave about an eighth of an inch of the white showing on this side. We're going to flip it around, do the same thing here. I'm going to leave about an eighth of an inch on that side. If it's a little less, that's okay. And then we're going to separate these two. Actually, I'm going to have to, I'll have to do make two cuts so that the eighth of an inch is about the same all the way around. Okay. So we've got those two. Okay. So what I did was I cut the one sheet out on camera. And then I cut the other sheet the same way I did these two. So there's three, and then I cut one completely out. And then that other sheet, uh, I just cut them all out individually because I think what I'm thinking is I can't decide if I'm going to put one of these on the back or if I was going to put two of these on the back. Okay. So I think that's probably what my thought was with these. But either way, they will, can still be used um, other places. So I went ahead and cut them out just in case. So we're just, I don't know if you figured it out yet. Now we're making a photo flip tag insert. That's a lot. Is that what I'm going to call it? A photo flip, no, a photo, a tag insert, 
flip, no, if I don't flip, hmm. Hopefully, I will figure that out before I, the video gets uploaded. <laughs> okay, I just scored that top there, and I am going to burnish. Actually, I'll burnish it both ways, because I don't know which way I'm going to have it. You know what I mean? I can't decide. I kind of like the... Kind of like the distressed or the distressed the um, vintage look facing out we are going to mat that top so don't worry I'm just inking this up i don't, I don't know why i was inking that part that part's not going to be seen i don't think anyway this works is we just lay these on top of each other and then they fit inside of here like that actually I'm gonna bring them down just a little bit more like that and now we've got a flip like a photo flip so I think I'm just gonna actually just gonna go ahead and attach these down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold those up like this and I'll put some tape, put some more tape, and you can put as many of these pages as you would like. So don't feel like you can only do three, put as many as you want. So this is just 28 pound paper. You could use copy paper if you wanted to. Okay, so there's a step one. Now let me get, I'm gonna get the, the mat for that part there and hopefully one of my scraps is big enough for that. So the mat is 88 CD and I was thinking about this pink and white polka dot. Ah, it's not exactly correct size, but you know what? I'm gonna go with it anyway. I just, I feel like it would be wasteful to cut into another piece, so. It's like, it's like an eighth of an inch overall too short. But again, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is put this on here. Or cut that off, not put that on there. So I'm going to ink it up and then I'm going to stick it here and then I'm going to wrap it with that seam binding that we cut, that we cut, why do I keep saying we cut? The seam binding that we colored, crinkled and colored in the last video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here, but it is this. I put it on an old spool of a thread, an empty spool of thread, just so that it was nice and tidy. So I was thinking like this. And then we were going to tie this around. But I also think maybe we need a label. But first, let's do this. So I'm just going to, I think I'm going to wrap, oh, let me actually attach this down. And I'm just going to use my tape runner. This is a Scotch ATG tape. Uh, advanced tape glider and I use Tape Depot replacement uh, replacement uh, tape and I will link that specifically down below because it's a lot more affordable than the Scotch brand and I found them from watching Lindsay from the Frugal Crafter okay so I think I'll just go around once Maybe, and like tie a little bow. I might, uh, let's see. I was gonna say I might go around twice. Whoa. I was not kidding when I said a little bow. I don't know, that is, that is too cute. All right, so I think I will just, I, t I cut a little niche, a little nick, a little nick, a little something or another right there on my empty spool 
of thread just to kind of hold the end for me. It's not perfect, but that's okay. So we got this, and before I glue that down, because I'm going to want to glue it down in some spots, I want to get a label out. So I think I'm going to do the rectangle labels. I'm not sure if I put that in my list or not of things I was going to use for sure. Um, pink would kind of just blend in too much, wouldn't it? Well, I might have to go with it. This teal might be a little too tealy. A little too matchy-matchy. Let's see. And oh, I've got a whole sheet of these printed out. The big ones are too big, I think, so... These are just on, these are just on 28 pound weight paper as well. You can print them on sticker paper. So these are the rectangle labels that are available in Etsy shop. I will have them linked down below. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys. Did I show you guys? I moved some of my covers around. So for the labels, I used the label paper that is part of the scrap journal add-on, the basically amazing scrap journal add-on. I used the label paper for my section. I changed it to where this is just labels in this section. Right? Is that not cute? Look at that. I thought that was perfect. And then back here I've got other things, other ephemeris tags and stuff from the basically amazing scrap journal. And I feel like I made some more covers. I just haven't gotten any further. These are... Oh yeah, I did. I had, just haven't done anything with them yet. These are some pretty, pretty papers. I may be using some of these papers in the next month. We'll see. I shouldn't say that because I don't know. I have not. I still haven't made my decision. And today is my phone is dirty. July 9th. Okay. And I still. I'm just now starting to record this album, and I still haven't made the decision for August yet. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to cut this out. Let's see what this looks like. So the rectangle labels, they come in several different sizes, several different colors. And you can also get square labels. You can get circle labels. You can get photo corner labels. They're all separate. Or if you have the add-on scrap journal, there's rectangle labels in there. So I was thinking about doing something just simple like this. There's not a whole lot, whole lot going on, but it also gives you the opportunity to add something there. But I kind of think I should have it over here to the side by the bow, or should I? Yeah, all right. So I better use some fabric glue fabric glue honestly this is fabric glue but why should i use fabric glue on paper i don't know that's neither here nor there this is fabric tack and it just gives me a little bit of wiggle room that's all and with the dry tape it may take me a minute to get things situated under there and the dry tape would catch on right away okay all right, well, I'm actually going to need this to tuck down the bow right there. And should I tuck it down anywhere else? Just maybe on the bow? I kind of feel like... I'm just now contradicting myself. I'm going to scoop this aside just a little bit and just put a little tape there. Just so it doesn't move on the back. Okay. All right. Next thing is I want to add the 4x6 on here. And I'm just going to use the walnut stain. There's one. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. You could also put a picture on the back side here if you wanted to. Use 
you can also put a picture here, like a four by six there, if you wanted to. So there's lots of opportunities for photos on that. And then on the back here, um, I'm debating on, do I put one four by six, which is cute, or do I put two three by fours? What do we think? I kind of like this a little better. That way you can have the opportunity for smaller pictures. So let's do that. Let's use my tape runner. Tape. Do my three by four. Okay, so then that one will go in here. Like, it's catching on the. There we go. It goes in there like that. So that looks pretty good and it still closes nicely. I like it. So I was thinking maybe we could put two three by four photos here like that. And maybe we could put a label or something there or some more little decoration. So we can wait on that too, but I'm thinking that might be a good idea. So let's do the three by four this way. Whoops, I'm grabbing the wrong one. I kind of, I kind of want to wait though. I kind of want to. I, you know, we don't have to wait. Let's go ahead and add it, and then we can come back and embellish it later after we've got some leftover pieces. How about that? So let me see if I can get this flat. There we go. And we will just add these in here. And then we can come back later. I think that's a good idea. And then you can, of course, you can put one of the three by four uh, cut apart pieces you can put there instead of a picture if you want it to. But I think we're just gonna leave it at that. We're just gonna call it done for now and then we can come back and do a little added embellishing. So you can obviously put as many um, inserts as you want in here, but for right now, I just wanted, I just wanted to have at least one. I'm gonna have to fix that. That's gonna drive me batty. Or at least one insert for the cover, okay? Okay, guys, be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Be sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that you turn the bell notification on so that you get notified when I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.